For FX, ambience and Foley workflows, you probably want to base your comparisons on the video data. If you can get full AAFs, including the video tracks, use those in conjunction with the video files. The AAFs, being multi-track, will give you the best possible chance of catching every cut, FX update or flopped shot. Obviously the VFX workflow will be critical to your effects work, so make sure you've watched the separate tutorials on VFX and diffs. The diff objects and markers are a great way to quickly check out updated shots and leave notes for someone else. And you can usually just pop open a Matchbox file right from an email. If you have shared storage for your video files, the video player loads up right away and you can eyeball each VFX change. If you need to investigate a shot inside your Pro Tool session, you can jump right there using one of the Locate DAW or Select Range in DAW options. You can even leave yourself notes inside Matchbox which will be dropped into Pro Tools so you won't forget to update that shot. For ambience or any ethereal sound design moments, you might want to look for opportunities to heal up the match list as much as possible. Small changes might be important for the Foley tracks in your session, but for backgrounds, you could possibly delete some of these and heal them over before reconforming your ambience tracks. Another useful tool which helps in this regard is the Trim to Fill Gap button. One each for head and tail. 